What's going on my fellow Farmall brothers and sisters? All right, it's been a while since I was able to post a video. I've been slamming these steps out of here. Um, I just wanted to do a quick little video and just kind of, um, I guess, give a little knowledge um, to some people who don't understand how much work goes into these steps. I know it seems like you're just saying a Farmall step. Sounds easy to say, but let me put it this way with no pun intended. There's a lot of steps to the process. So I'm going to put together a little uh, picture collage kind of showing roughly in an eggshell, eggshell, in a nutshell, <laughs> what it takes to put these steps together. Um, and the fact of these aren't mass produced by like a company. They're all produced by me, by myself. Um, I get all the metal in lengths. I cut everything to all my sizes and I get my whole table loaded up with all my pieces, which is, have you seen some of my videos before and it'll be in this one, multiple cuts, multiple angles. Um, then after I cut all the angles, you got to grind everything and you got to grind everything, especially all those cuts on a 45 degree bevel. Um, so when you butt things together, you have a place for that um, welding wire to flow into because if you just do straight cuts and you weld, it's not very good penetration. It's not going to work very well. So my pictures are going to kind of show what goes into the process. And so it'll help some people understand why I ask the price I ask for them. And also it'll help some people understand, um, if I'm saying I'm making them, why it takes um, you know at least a week or two for me to get these things together and out um, it's a lot of steps involved in it and, you know I just don't slap together uh, I just don't take a bunch of straight cuts weld them together throw some paint on them send them out the door it's not what I do I put a lot of angles in these curves and then when I weld them I weld all the grinds nice you know welds nice and smooth I grind them down and clean everything up so everything looks really good. Um, I did have a gentleman comment on my video um, and he actually said he's actually a metal fabricator by trade and he sees what I'm doing to my steps and he even told me hats off to it your price is actually really good because um, from a metal fabricator you put a lot of time into these and it, it shows. So that was actually nice to hear from somebody who actually works with metal for a living. Um, so anyway, so I'm not going to keep this part very long. Obviously, you know, just watch the pictures and you'll kind of see, like I said, in a nutshell, what I do to put these steps together. Um, like I said, it's not just um, cut a couple straight cuts, weld it together, paint it out the door. It's not what I do. It's not what I want to do for you guys. It's not what I wanted for my own tractor. I wanted something to look good, something that was smooth, something that flowed with the lines of the tractors, super functional as far as holding you up and looking good on top of that. I want it so if you guys take your tractor to a show or took it to a parade, you're proud of that step you purchased and what it looks like on your tractor versus just somebody saying, I could have threw one of those together with a piece of rebarb and a couple pieces of flat step material. Yeah, anybody can do that. You can use a car battery to weld with. <laughs> but I put a lot of time and a lot of effort into these. So I'm just hoping that this, this right here will actually show you guys what I do to put into these steps. And FYI, if anybody wants a step, um, i am finally got my back order um fulfilled i'm getting ready to ship a whole bunch out um and then i'm going to start taking orders again for some you know some more step orders if you guys want any steps i'm offering them in black implement blue farm all red cub yellow um i'm offering them obviously for the cub for the farm all a super a b 100 130 140 a1 avs it all fits just know your um implements that's under your tractor to know if the bolts that I send you, you may have to put washers behind them. You may have to get longer bolts. You may have to get one long, one short. You may have to do something to make them work onto your, your tractors. Because obviously, you know, as you see them mounted onto my tractor, my Super Ray, and other people's Super Rays um, and Cubs, some people aren't running implements. Some people are. So just keep in mind that your particular application, you may have to go ahead and do some shimming or make something to put onto them and make that work. That's up to you to know where your setup is. It's up to you to know which way your tires are flipped, if you have them all the way in, if you have them out, if you have the rims inverted and you have them closer in. You gotta know how yours is set up. If you have any questions as far as like how these are made to work, like right out the box, look at some of my previous videos, look at my Super A, look at my step. You'll see exactly how it's set up. Very simple. My arm's falling asleep, so I'm gonna cut this video short. That's it, watch the pictures, enjoy. If you want to step, hit me up, 7valleysfarmalls at gmail.com. I do check, credit card, uh, PayPal, Venmo, um, you know, whatever makes it easier for you guys. And I'm hoping everybody realizes by now, um, you know, I had a gentleman or two, seems like he got a little nervous um, because it's taking a little time to get some of these steps together. It's a lot of steps, a lot of angles, a lot of cuts. 
a lot of welding, a lot of grinding, everything involved in it. But I made sure I put their mind at ease to say, I'm legit, I'm making your step, I will get your step out to you. I'm not fraudulent, I didn't take your check and run, trust me. I hope all you guys out there who have received your steps can vouch for me and comment on this video. Yes, I make the steps, I make them to how you want them, and I send them out. So anyway, if you want a step, hit me up, let me know. Um, usually about once a month I try to get an order together. I've been slammed with so many of them, I haven't had a chance to work on this 300, but tomorrow I am making a video and I'm going to do a will it run on this uh, 300. I'm going to see if I can get this girl fired up. So anyway, so that's it. Enjoy the pictures. If you have any questions, message me. Other than that, you guys have a good day. All right, my friends, hope you guys enjoyed that video or the pictures I put up for you. I hope it kind of explains a little bit the process and what I go through to make these steps. Um, like I said, I can make some cheap ones. I can slap these things together. I could try to set them out the door. That's not me. I'm not doing that. I'm not making those kind of steps. There are, excuse me, I got the burps apparently from my beer. Um, there are steps you can buy that are about 70 bucks. You can buy some steps that are 140 bucks, but you're going to pay $20 shipping. Um... I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to say mine's the best step, but let me say I put a lot more time, a lot more effort, and a lot more love into my steps. So my steps actually show for the price in $165 and $15 shipping. Ain't bad. So if you guys want one, 7 Valleys Farm Malls, gmail.com. Other than that, this old girl, we're going to try to fire her up tomorrow. So I'm really looking forward to that. So make sure you uh, hit that notification bell and uh, stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching.